Welcome back to the Morning Blend. Use your imagination for a second. Think about this. Your 10 year old boy. I think about that every Tiff, day. Yeah, it fashions like, that's herself. That's my sense of humor. 10 year old boy. Okay, who has to shave three times a day. <laughs> okay. You have five sisters and you live in the basement of your grandmother's mansion. Ah, uh, now that's the scene of our next guest book <laughs> and it may slightly resemble his own childhood. The book is called <laughs> How to Sell Your Family to Aliens and we are delighted to have the author and Milwaukee native Paul Noth here on the Yellow Couch. He's also a staff cartoonist for the New Yorker magazine and we're so happy to have you here. Oh, thanks so much. It's great, great to, to see, see you. Here. Welcome see back. You Thank you. So huge family grew up on the east side of Milwaukee. You had what two? I have a uh, yeah, two brothers, two brothers six, six sisters. sisters. <laughs> yes, I always think that explains a lot about a person if they've got a lot of sisters. <laughs> yes, probably. You know, <laughs> yes, right. Because that seems horrible. Right. But it's you know, it's not it's it's not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to capture uh, the character in the book, which it's not based on my family. I should I should yeah. say that right away. But I tried to capture, uh, you know, that sort of feeling of being outnumbered a little bit. Are you saying life. that because they're watching? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in their yep. territory, so it's not them. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. This is pretty cool. So um, you you say you owe a lot to your teachers growing up and your and art um, yes. as a cartoonist now and things like that. And you grew up in the MPS system. Yes, right? uh, uh, K through 12. I went. I was all MPS, and um, you know we had we ha I had great art teachers. I had great uh, uh, writing teachers and libraries, and they they really encouraged us to read. And I've been I I ran into my art my element school art teacher came to my book signing. Miss Gaborski. So, it was amazing to see her. That's yeah. so what books did you read cute. as a kid? Uh, I I loved cartoons. That yeah. was my main focus and so I was obsessed with anything cartoon, especially, you know, uh, Peanuts and yeah. uh, Calvin and Hobbes and, Garfield? You know, Garfield loved, loved Garfield. Loved Garfield. Of course. Yeah. And we want to get to some pictures in just mm -hmm. one second okay. because that totally sells it and they're fantastic and funny. I love though that you said something really positive about MPS. Um just a shout out for the schools you went to, Lloyd Street Elementary, yeah. Morse Middle School and then Rufus King High School. Yes. Um which is great and really nice of you to acknowledge your teachers which yeah. is great that you got that great education. So this book, I love that the kid's name is Happy Conklin Jr. <laughs> Again, he's 10 years old. Why, he has to shave ten to, uh, three times a day. Yes. Well, part of what part of what is so rough about his childhood is his his father is uh, a famous inventor and his grandmother is sort of the entrepreneur that runs the company. <laughs> uh, Grandma Tess. Is that dads, half? That's half. Yeah, okay. that's him trying to trying to lift up a TV. <laughs> OK, uh, the, I like um, it. He, the uh, yeah the uh, the grandma experiments on the kids with the with the father's inventions and so um, one of the inventions uh, called uh, that's one handsome baby is a beauty product for babies that allows boy babies to grow beards <laughs> and it's not it, it, it never catches on uh -huh. of course it's not a good idea for a product but um, they test it on one baby and that's the narrator of the book that's gotcha. happy so he he's from the time of his infancy he's always shaving he's shaving i yeah. love the picture it's a science experiment exactly of the alien um, in yeah. this because you you acknowledge that people are gonna, gonna want to know what what aliens look like right. or what the aliens in this story at least <laughs> look like. So this says I drew this to fool people because if they tried to look ahead and see what aliens look like, by the way, this is not what aliens look like. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's great. Yeah. Well, I thought you know I was writing the book and it's how to sell your family to the aliens and you know I hit about chapter three and there's no aliens yet. I'm like oh. I better put in an alien. And I so I thought of that sort of joke of like, you know, nope, this still isn't the alien. You know, they're coming. Don't worry. There yeah. will be aliens. And then they do, you know, they do show up pretty So pretty funny. Perfect. Everybody's familiar with the Where's Waldo books, starting yeah. when kids are really yeah. young. And it's like finding Waldo in this sea of thing. But, you know, who wants to know how he's doing? Right. <laughs> Nobody ever asks, how's Waldo? <laughs> we just can't find him. <laughs> and there he is in a bar. Yes. <laughs> he's dealing with things. Right. It's a different side of Waldo than you, than you normally see. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he tells it like it is. And yes. then you see the billboard there. Yeah, that's what another New Yorker cartoon. <laughs> that one ran in uh, early 2016, so before the primary. So it's a slightly political message there. To yeah. That yeah. One. But I love it. You've got all these. You've actually created animated cartoons for SNL. Yes. Um, for Late Night with Conan O'Brien. Yes. I mean, you're kind of a big hit. You're <laughs> a, a little big deal. Bit, a little you've got bit, a great yeah. mind. Yeah, I love. I love. I've you know, I love doing cartoons. Um, and those were really fun gigs because they you got to do you got to do sort of grown up comedy cartoons, and it was in front of a and they got shown in front of a live audience. So yes. that was fantastic. Oh, that fun. one. She was a rescue. She Talking was about rescue. the owner. Yeah. That's so great. <laughs> and this is a good one for New Yorkers. It's uh. Of course, these taste great. They're, of course, you feel great. These things are loaded with antidepressants. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, and here's what I love about this is we saw a couple. You say you're really good at drawing lizards and sheep, and which we've it. seen now sheep and kind of like a, a giant lizard. Right, yeah, I keep returning to those. Yeah. <laughs> Were you always getting in trouble as a kid for drawing in class? A little bit, yeah. Were you? A little bit because. Not in know, art class, clearly. Right. <laughs> I mean, I was, it's, it's what I did, but it's also high processed information. And mm -hmm. so I had some, I mean, some teachers had bothered some. They, you know, they saw me taking notes, but that's how I, I you know, I was a very visual kid. So that's yeah. how I, it helped me remember things. Okay, we're going to talk about um, a great way for people to meet you, get a copy of your book, but really quick, quick because you're on the East Coast now, what do you miss most about Wisconsin? Oh, uh, well, my brother makes fun of me for always going out and getting a brat immediately as soon as I'm, <laughs> like, he'll pick me up from the airport and I'll just be eating a brat already. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. already? Yeah, and he'll be like, oh, this guy, yeah, it's, uh, but... So that's probably it, you know. You're in New <laughs> Jersey get your these days, right? Yeah, I'm in New Jersey, yeah. So you're back for these book signings? Yes, I'm doing a book tour. I was just in uh, like the Chicago area last week. I'm in LA next week, and so I'm, but uh, it's really, really great to be back here it's in Milwaukee great. and to visit so many MPS schools. And yeah. we want to make sure people know how to get a signed copy of your book. This is great that you're doing this at a couple local places. So Boswell Books on Downer, you can get a signed copy of the book. The other place is Books and Company, located in Economowoc. You can go to themorningblend.com, our website, to find out more about this fantastic book, more about Paul, and more about how to get your hands on one of those signed copies. People are going to want more. Exactly. We yeah. want more hap. Great. Thank you so much for visiting us. <laughs> Thanks so us. much for having Thanks, me. Paul. This is really fun. It was Appreciate great. It. Thank you so much. All right.